Here's some helpful cleaning notes. Uh, first of all, cleaning out the actual metalwork here is a straightforward job. Just use some uh, paper towels and some spray cleaner. You can use kitchen cleaner, bleach type tabletop cleaner, or you can even use stuff like uh, this goof off too, which is pretty straightforward and it's actually safe. Now, don't confuse that with goof off one. Goof off one is evil stuff. Goof off two is kind of the, the kid version of it. So um, <clears throat> uh, this stuff is okay for general purpose light cleaning. Now the actual circuit board and the inside of the domes, we're not going to use anything like that. We're going to use good old-fashioned clean isopropyl alcohol or IPA. I have it here in this little pump bottle. I love this thing. I can just squeeze it a little bit and it fills up the little reservoir in the top. And then you can use things like Q-tips. However, uh, in this case, we don't want to use regular Q-tips because regular Q-tips have lint on them. These are foam Q-tips here, which are considerably... Uh, safer to use on things like this and so I'm just gonna go in and clean each of these guys in turn just to ensure there's no contaminants on them you know giving them a little circular circular swipe and if there are any things built up they get kind of cleaned away if there's like a hair across there it'll get sort of swept off and this is something that I will do for the entire key bed. Uh, and likewise, we move on, uh, do the inside of the dome and across the, uh, the contact point. Now, granted, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to deal with it, and uh, we'll be right back.